Hello, Sam from Tool Hut. Today we're going over the procedure for installing GDS2 and Tech2Win from the AC.co website. Stand by. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go to acdelcotds.com. And if you haven't purchased a subscription or registered here, you'll have to do that. So you're going to click on the Login Register tab, put in your username and password. And once you're logged in here, it's going to give you a choice. Like I say, you have to have purchased a subscription by now. I do have a video on choosing the right subscription. I think it's from the previous version of AC Delco, so I might update that, but it's basically the same thing. So once you're logged in, you got to agree to their terms. And then down uh, about the bottom of the page there, you'll see the GM Light Duty Diagnostics 2 GDS2. We're going to access that subscription. It tells you what versions of software are available for the Tech 2. So we're going to start GDS2, and it's going to automatically install an installer package here for GDS2. I have sped up this process so it doesn't go quite as fast as what it's looking like in the video here. But I tr all the steps are there. So it is a downloading process. So it installs the, the program here as soon as it's done downloading it. Not that big of a program. Once it's downloaded and installed here, you'll get a message that says that it was successful. It also installs the data bus diagnostics tool and the MDI. So you got that message that everything was successful. So we're going to hit the, it's going to try to launch the program right away. So it wants the Java permissions. So just hit allow access and then you have to select your language. And once you've selected your language, it'll complete open in the GDS2 just tells you the program that you've got there and it will uh, run a little bit of a download here it also puts Saab on here is anybody interested in working on Saabs So now you have to choose the GM Global, you hit install, and it will restart the application. And you see it's not real rocket science, you just kind of sit here to watch the props here. The big thing is the days remaining until the lease expires is 29. So now we're going to go to the SWDL tab. We're going to download GDS2, or I'm sorry, Tech2Win. So it says Tech2Win is not installed, so we're going to hit install on that. The same thing. It's going to install some program in the background here. It is a little different once it's up and running, though. Just got to give it the permissions to install the drivers here. It says it's installed successfully, but don't don't get in a hurry here, because you have to open Tech2Win, so it's the quick start.
contact to win. Tells you your license doesn't exist. You do need to wait until it shows Tech 2 on your screen. You do not need a device plugged in. You can just hit cancel on the tab there. Now, once it does say Tech 2 on your screen, you can hit next. You do have to choose a custom download. Don't try to do a standard download. It won't let you. Never do a standard on a Tech 2 win. It just, you get an error. It's not a big deal. So that's what just got the base software in it now. So I'm going to choose North American Operations, the latest version. And then if you just double click English, it pops it over to the right hand side. And we're going to hit download. And it'll install the update in your Tech 2 Win. If you're familiar with Tech 2, this is basically the same procedure for updating your Tech 2. Matter of fact, you can use this to update your Tech 2. So if you have a Tech 2 and you want to update it, you can use this to do it once you've got it connected up to your laptop. And you'll see that the lease term the lower right corner there turns to 30 and then it'll show you that you're done so we're done all right thanks for watching subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more videos thumbs up thumbs down questions whatever down at the bottom have a great day